Welcome to the Board Game Network, this is James. I'm going to be explaining how to play this game called Grifters. Put out by Indie Boards and Cards. They put out a lot of fair, pretty simple uh, games. And this is another one of them. It plays two to four players. Plays in about 30 minutes. And you are a crime boss. Performing crimes, you're stealing and, and doing whatever and taking even from other players. And so here's your setup. You're going to get one of each of these ringleaders, a pickpocket, a mastermind, and a thief. And you are going to shuffle the rest of the specialists. You're going to take the rest of these out of the game. Uh, so everybody gets one of each of those three. You're going to shuffle this deck of specialists. You're going to draw three of them. And you're going to put your ringleaders in your hand also. So you've got six cards to play with to start with. And right here is the rules that you need to know. You start off with advanced time phase, there's the play specialist phase, and there's the refresh phase. Uh, but you've got these five stacks of cards out here, and you sort them by color, and you put them in numerical order and descending order, one, two, three, four, up here in the top left corner. You'll notice some of them, this uh, one stack says three plus, and one stack says four plus. So these are for three or four player games. This is for four player only. If you're playing two players, you just got these three. So you've really got three, four, or five stacks out here of cards that you can complete. You get a different number of these mega ISKs out here based on the number of players. And each player is going to get three of them to start with. And so on your first phase where you advance time, you move all of your cards over to the right one. So if you're on night three, it goes here. So it goes off to the side. If it's on two, it goes to three. If, it goes, if it's on one, it goes to two. So they, everything slides over one. Obviously it won't happen on your first turn. Play specialist. Now you can do one of two things. You can either play one card and take its action, or you can play multiple cards to complete a job. These are your jobs here. So you'll notice there's some icons here. So this one takes three of these blue icons to complete this job. This one takes the three red fists. This one takes the three green skulls. These ones over here, the, the three and four player ones, they are a combination of different ones. And those symbols are in the upper left hand corner of these cards you're playing. So you're going to look and see if you can complete one of these. And I actually can, from the very beginning, I've got three red fists. This one, Inside Man, he's kind of like a wild card and he's got all three symbols up there. So one of my options is to complete a job. So if I do that, I take all the cards I use to complete the job, I put them on night one, and I take this card. And these cards get better as they go down. This one, you got to read the reward here. It says, steal three mega ISK from the coffers. So you get that one, and this is the coffers out here in the middle. I get three mega ISK. And then refresh is take any cards from the refresh over here back to your hand, which hasn't happened yet. And then it rotates to the next player. And so it goes around. And then so next time I don't have things that I can complete a job with. And you'll notice that these get a little bit harder as they go down. You get more icons on there, so they get harder. So the very first thing I do to advance time on my second turn would be to slide that over. And then I look in my hand and I cannot complete a job, so I do something that's on one of the cards, take one of the actions. So the counterfeiter here said steal one mega ISK from every opponent's stash. So I get one from everybody who's playing. And then that would just simply go down in night one, uh, a single card. And then that would be... Uh, the play specialist phase, the refresh phase, I pick something up and then it rotates again. So back to my turn on phase, or on turn three, I go like this, slide this over, slide that over. 
and I'm down to two cards in my hand. And I should play the Mastermind. It's one of the ringleaders, so everybody has us. Draw three specialists, choose one to add to your hand and discard the other two. So I can actually get some more cards in my hand. So I pull up those three, I look at them, pick one of them, and discard the other two. So I can continue to grow my hand uh, so I have more cards. And so that would be my play and then refresh. And so that's the end of my third turn, go around, and then now it's my fourth turn. So on my fourth turn, these cards get turned sideways. Two goes to three, one goes to two. And then I look and see what I want to play. I play the thief, a ringleader. Steal two Mega ISK from the coffers. So take two, play this down, and then my refresh, I get to pick those back up and then I can use them again. So that's how this game works. Let me go through and show you some of the cards that are in here. Uh, what, their, what their actions are. Here is the pickpocket. St two, steal two Mega ISK from an opponent's stash. So you pick an opponent and you get two from them. Here's the wheel man. Choose a team in your hideout. Return all but one specialist from that team to your hand. So that's really good if you have a team. A team out here would be several people that combined to help you complete a job. It would not be one of these individual cards. But if you had that wheel man, you could play him. Let's say this is what we have here. You could play him and pick up everybody here except for one person. So that lets you get back your team earlier than waiting. Um, okay, we have the Dirty Cop. Steal one Mega ISK from every opponent's stash for each team in their hideout. So based on how many teams they have in their hideout, this is their hideout. You get one ISK from them Let's see, here's the inside man, and he's got all three symbols up there. Abduct any specialist in an opponent's hideout and immediately play that specialist. Place the abducted specialist with the, replace the abducted specialist with this card. So you're taking a card, a specialist from somebody else's hideout that's been played and you immediately do whatever they do, but then you give them the inside man. Okay, we got the fixer. Draw two specialists, choose one and add to your hand, discard the other one, and steal one mega ISK from the coffers. Enforcer, draw one specialist and abduct one random specialist from an opponent's hand. Choose one to keep and the other, give the other to uh, your chosen opponent. So, there's several different cards that do different things in here. But they're very simple to understand. Not too hard at all. So that's, and, and the game goes until you run out of ISK. So there are, is no more ISK out here. Or all jobs are completely gone. Or you have no cards in your deck or your discard. So you can't draw anymore. So the game goes until that point. And that's how you play Grifters. Make sure you tune into all of our videos here at the Board Game Network. And uh, they're, they're out on Facebook.com slash Board Game Network and YouTube.com slash Board Game Network. And they're out on Board Game Geek. If you're looking up a, a specific game that you're interested in on Board Game Geek, uh, click on the videos and then uh, scroll down there and look for our video, of course, because our videos are better than everybody else's videos, right? Yup, yup.